guys, it's Sofia and uh, it's currently March 2020 and we are in the middle of a global pandemic. The coronavirus is wreaking havoc all around the world and there's not much we can do about it. But a good way to help slow the virus down, aside from washing your hands, is something we call social distancing or self-isolation or self-quarantining. Anyway, you get the point. So because of that, I've spent the past five days pretty much cooped up at home, which, I mean, not that that differs very much from what I would normally do, to be honest. But anyway, that got me thinking that, hey, this is the perfect time to do an apartment tour video. So that's what we're gonna do today. So first I thought I'd give you some background information in case you don't know. I'm a university student, I live in Vasa, Finland. I live pretty close to the city center in an old wooden house that's I mean, probably more than 100 years old at this point. This apartment is 40 square meters or 430 square feet for you peasants that don't use the metric system. <laughs> Just kidding. And I pay 465 euros in rent, which includes water, but does not include electricity. And since this place has electric heating, you can imagine that that bill does get quite big, especially during the cold winter months. In the end, I end up paying about like a bit over 500 euros maybe on average per month. But even with that included, it's not so expensive. And um, besides, I get like 550 euros in student financial aid every month, so that pretty much covers it. Meanwhile, in America, I wouldn't be so lucky. So anyways, no more shading the Americans. Let's just get into it. First of all, we need to talk about the floor plan. Even though it's technically a studio because there's not like a separate room for the bedroom, it feels a lot more, I don't know, homey, I guess, because the bedroom does feel like it's, you know, in a, in a space of its own. So this is what my apartment looks like when you first walk in. I have a small foyer with an even smaller toilet. I swear this is like one of the smallest toilets I've ever come across, but hey, it gets the job done. <laughs> On the opposite side of the toilet I have this storage space that actually doesn't have good isolation, so it's a bit colder in there than the rest of my apartment, but I just use it to keep my coats, my vacuum cleaner and other random stuff. Then let's move on to the kitchen slash dining space. Now, not the biggest kitchen ever and not a whole lot of storage space, but it's enough for me. And on the wall here I've hung one of my favorite thrift finds ever, which is this cross-stitched chef with a plate in his hand. Most of the furniture and stuff that I have around my apartment are second-hand, either from a thrift store, a charity shop, my mom or my sister's, my grandma's place, or bought online at a Finnish website where people sell all sorts of things. Both of these rugs are from my parents' place, and this dining table and dresser are both from charity shops, and the chairs are from my grandma's place that I then painted white. I actually really dislike this table because it doesn't stay closed all the way and I have this massive stain from a hot pizza box that was sitting on the table for too long and I actually use this table as kind of like a workspace because my actual desk I have my sewing machine so that's why I have my laptop here and this old lamp from my grandma's place that I've again painted white. The ceiling light is thrifted and I really like this coral pink color. But this dresser is absolutely gorgeous and also the most expensive piece of furniture that I own. I keep some paperwork, electronics, bed sheets, and sewing fabrics in there. On the top I have some thrifted vases with dried flowers that I picked in January. And on this thrifted tray I have some old ass dying cacti from Ikea and some candles. The books are thrifted as well and purely decorational, sorry to all of you bookworms out there that I've just probably offended. I also have three monstera plants. They started off as just one plant, but I separated them into separate pots and they started to grow from there. But this one needs to be changed into a bigger pot though, as it looks like it's defying gravity at the moment. Behind the fridge here is where I hide some stuff, like an ironing board, a kettleball, foam roller, and my yoga mat. 
the microwave is my parents' old one. It's a bit yellowy, but it still works, so that's fine by me. On the walls I've hung up some picture frames, like these framed Monet and Picasso posters that I've bought at a charity shop. Some postcards in thrifted frames, this cacti poster I got from my sister, a calendar and some of my embroidery works. One of my favorite things about this apartment has got to be the windows. I love these types of windows that older houses have, and because I have them pointing in three directions, they bring in a lot of light to the space. Oh, and the curtains are thrifted as well. Over here I have my shower that also has a washer, uh, which was already here when I moved in. It's super practical to have a washer of my own and not have to go to like a common laundry room. So that brings us to the bedroom area. Here we have a bed that I bought from a friend when she was getting rid of it, and two botanical illustrations, framed, thrifted of course. This wardrobe is another piece that was already here when I moved in, like the washer. It's really big so it fits most of my clothes, my makeup, laundry bag, some random things as well like extra pillows and towels. And my mom got me these lights that I've draped around the wardrobe. And they look really cute even though I rarely remember to put them in. This little stool is from my grandma's place and I sit on it whenever I'm doing my makeup in front of this wardrobe. I also have a coaster on the windowsill, because I usually eat my breakfast at the same time. The curtains in here are from a cherry shop, just like the ones in my dining area. This nightstand is from my parents' place, as well as this metal container where I keep all my embroidery threads. This lamp is actually one of the few things in here that I've bought completely new. I really like it because it matches the other one in the kitchen. Next to my bed I have my desk, which is also from my grandma's place, but I promise I didn't just braid my poor nan's entire house before I moved in here. Her place just has a lot of stuff she doesn't need anymore, so, you know. Anyway, this is where I do all of my sewing. In these drawers I have a lot of stuff for sewing and embroidery, some art supplies and just, you know, boring paperwork. This hanging magazine rack and jewelry rack are also things that I've bought new years ago and I really like the way that they look. Now if we look to the floor, you can see my Wi-Fi gadget that I've neatly hidden inside a paper bag from a local tea and coffee shop. I don't know why I like this so much, I just think it's really cute. Then I have my clothing rack, originally from Ikea but secondhand as per usual. I keep some of my most worn clothes and most of my bags here so that they're easy to access and I also like to have them visible and not hidden away in my wardrobe. On the bottom I keep some of my fancier shoes and this cool looking old suitcase from my parents place. I actually used to have a small TV in here as well but I got rid of it because I never really watched it anyway. Next to the clothing rack I have my sister's old stool that actually transforms into a mattress to sleep on, which is really handy if I have guests over. Another thing that I love about this apartment has got to be this beautiful working furnace. It's not only really pretty and cozy when there's like a fire inside, it's really practical because I can actually burn wood in there and it does retain the heat, so it does heat the apartment and I won't have to rely on the electric heating as much. Next to the furnace I have a bookshelf, bought online secondhand, where I keep some decorative pieces, like this globe again from my grandma's place, my nail polishes, rings, earrings and some books. The ceiling light is originally from Ikea but bought secondhand online, just like this rug that I have. It's a woolen rug originally made in Turkey and I just really love the color and the pattern. And I also love that I have this beautiful wooden floor in my bedroom area. It looks really like authentic and rustic and I, I just love the way that it looks. <laughs> so that basically concludes this apartment tour. So there you go, now you know what this Finnish student's apartment looks like. I hope you liked this video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, you can click the subscribe button. And you can also follow me on Instagram at sofiaminen. But that's all. Stay safe, stay isolated as long as this pandemic is still a thing. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.